All right, it's Tuesday and it's Weather for Weather Geeks time. Weather perfection today, there's no other way to put it. It was absolutely sensational out there today with crystal clear skies and warm temperatures and the foliage right at peak. What a day we had today and the temperature really overachieved today. Our forecast was 71. It got to 76 this afternoon with that full sunshine. That's pretty impressive considering the sun's strength at this time of the year is equivalent to like mid-February. Uh, 76 is pretty impressive stuff. Now the record today is 80, so it could be more impressive at this time of the year, but uh, we did not set a record today despite it being about a good 17 or 18 above the average. Stands in stark contrast to the last couple of weeks, which have been generally cooler than the average with just a couple of exceptions. This has been kind of a cool pattern ever since the big flip right at the end of that first week of October. And combining highs and lows, we're still running a little over a half a degree above average for the month of October. Other regional highs today, 76 in Pittsburgh. We did 77 in New Philly and up at Hopkins Airport in Cleveland. Akron checked in at 73 this afternoon. Looking nationwide, uh, we will see an increase in clouds locally tonight. The uh, cloud deck out here is going to push overhead. These will be unproductive clouds, though. It looks like the shower activity is going to cruise to our north for a lot of the day on Wednesday. So we'll be dry, just not as bright and sunny as today. Big storm system uh, lurking off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. This is a pretty interesting looking weather pattern going forward here as uh, we go towards the, the, the weekend. Highly amplified, amplified uh, flow. Uh, in the uh, at the jet stream level, big big omega block basically looks like the Greek letter omega, right? With the ridge poking up towards Alaska, and that ridge is going to force a pretty deep trough to come southward out of the Arctic Circle, out down through Canada, and right into the eastern U.S. That's going to put a pretty abrupt end to our unseasonable warmth by the first half of next week and the uh, start of November. But you'll notice as we go all the way to next Wednesday, already signs of a pattern change. That trough is going to have no trouble lifting out and this bubbling ridge here is going to start to work east and so I think we will see a nice rebound in our temperatures by that first kind of weekend or so of, of November. So the cold is not going to last all that long even though it will be a significant change. And with the changing pattern there will be a swath of snow, a couple of swaths of snow that will accumulate from the uh, Bitterroot Range and out towards Yellowstone, uh, heading down towards the Colorado Rockies, and then heading up towards the U.S. Canadian border. And you'll notice the model around here. This is the European model out through next Tuesday. You'll notice it does paint a couple of snowflakes here locally. Not ready to say this is the right idea just yet, but it might be possible that towards the middle of next week, right around Halloween, we might have cold air uh, flowing in the right direction over the Great Lakes to produce a scattering of snow flurries, or at the very least, a mix of rain and snow, middle of next week. Again, we're talking seven, eight days from now, and so don't take this to the bank or anything, but it's a, it's an idea that is at least plausible at this point. Back here in the short term, again, cloudier day on Wednesday. We're dry through much of the daylight hours. Now, there might be a passing sprinkle or a shower as early as Wednesday evening and continuing into the overnight. Don't think it's much rain at all. And then we're back to a partly sunny sky for Thursday, and Friday looks to be pretty decent as well. Very warm. Uh, there'll be some sunshine, might be a sprinkle or a shower early on, but I think we're dry for high school football playoff action Friday evening. This will be followed by higher rain chances, though, for the weekend. And what we've done with our forecast is increased rain chances across the board this weekend, but especially on Sunday. And we're just getting started with this. If the uh, trends continue, these rain chances will continue to be higher, as you can check out anytime on the Storm Tracker 21 app and at WFMJ.com slash weather. So yeah, there's going to be some, some damp weather this weekend, probably mostly focused on Sunday. And a week from today is Halloween, and not going to be able to rule out a little precipitation this day as well. And there might even be some snowflakes in the mix if that colder European model I just showed you has the right idea. And this forecast high next Tuesday of 45, this is probably a best case scenario, at least the way it looks right now. In other words, it may be a little optimistic. I could see where come trick-or-treat time, for those who are holding trick-or-treat on Halloween itself, I could see where it's mostly in the upper 30s to around 40. Very chilly stuff for Halloween this year. Now, it won't be as cold and certainly not as snowy as the coldest and snowiest on record. And this is the 30-year anniversary. Longtime Valley residents no doubt remember Halloween of 1993 when the high was 35 and there was 5.1 inches of snow on Halloween at the Youngstown Warren Airport on uh, Halloween 1993. The warmest on record back in 1933, it was 78. And more recently, we've had plenty of mild weather on Halloweens of late, the exception being in 2020. Now we have had 
some wet Halloweens of late as well, including 2019, 1.48 inches worth of rain. So it's not going to be that wet this Halloween. It's not going to be as cold as the coldest. But, uh, yeah, there's definitely going to be a chill in the air for uh, those trick-or-treating on Halloween itself. And a quick look at the longer range. This is going to be a changeable pattern as we go uh, towards uh, the beginning of November. Here's the cold for next week. The cold starts to ease in the 8-14 to 14 day period. And as we roll forward to weeks 3 and 4, it will not be a super warm pattern. I don't think just yet, although week 4 may try to get there. Uh, but certainly week 3 is probably no nothing all that significant in terms of uh, temperature anomalies. I do think, though, that by week four, so we're talking the middle of November, and say November 15th through the 22nd, somewhere in that range, there's really good model agreement right now for this far out that uh, we will be in a pretty mild pattern, I think, for the middle of the month. But there's going to be some changeable weather, certainly during the first half of the month, first two weeks of the month, maybe. Um, but the coldest anomalies uh, in the foreseeable future are likely to be here, I think, during the first half of next week with highs probably just in the 40s for a few days right around Halloween and the start of November. Thank you for watching Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. Let's do it again on Wednesday, same time, same place.